How's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. In today's video, I wanted to chat about if I could only use five brands, which brands would I use? I've done this before. I did it quite a long time ago, like probably at least two years ago, if not longer. And I've been wanting to do it again for a while and today is that day. <laughs> Obviously this is fantasy. I'm not throwing away all my makeup and only keeping and using five brands. This is just for fun. It's a way for me to kind of really dissect my collection and really try to think logically about which brands I think I'd feel the most fulfilled with, with the amount of things that they have and the quality of things that they have. I also did try to challenge myself in this video by not including ColourPop because that's a very easy one to include in this style of video because they have literally everything and for the most part it's all pretty good quality but I, I wanted to challenge myself to step away from ColourPop for this video in particular. I did film this look of course by the way it's already up on my Instagram and TikTok and I did take the time to only use the products that I'm talking about in this video. I did cheat a little bit. I'm using a single shadow that's not a part of this, but it's because I was really trying to play with some of my new Pastel Roses shadows. And I think my freckles are the only other thing that isn't a part of these brands just because there aren't freckle products in these brands and I don't have the alternatives on me that I'll talk about later in this video. But I did go out of my way to use I think only these five brands. So you can check out my description box if you wanna see the eyeshadow tutorial. Again, that's up on my Instagram and TikTok. And as far as my accessories go, these earrings are from Shop Sun & Co. This choker was a gift, so I'm not sure where it's from. And this is the Alley Ponytail from Insert Name Here. Let's just dive in and chat about these five brands and just why I picked them. Why did I pick these five brands specifically? Okay, so I figured I would just start by listing the brands and then I'm gonna break down basically my makeup routine and chat about what I'd be able to use from these brands to fulfill that need. So in no particular order, the brands I decided I would be keeping in this fantasy scenario is NYX Cosmetics, Melt Cosmetics, Odin's Eye, Blend Bunny, and Rare Beauty. Those are the five that I'm picking. I pondered a lot on these brands and I'm excited to just chat about why I picked them. I think Mel is the only one that's a repeat from the first video. So if you wanna hear another version of this, you can always go check out that first video I did of this idea. Um, and I'm pretty sure, again, the only repeat is Mel, so there'll be some other options in there as well. Rare Beauty was actually the first one to come to mind in this video as well, just because I've absolutely fallen in love with the brand. I uh, adore them. I think that there are so many amazing staple products for complexion specifically that I absolutely adore. And yeah, we're just gonna go in with my makeup routine now. So the very first thing I do before anything else is primer because I like to do my primer before I do my brow so that it has time to really sink into the skin. And I know NYX does have primers. I've used some in the past, like there's that honey do me up primer that could not even be a thing anymore because that was a long time ago. They have a variety of primers, but specifically Rare Beauty also has primers. That's what I have on me. I've been using the pore diffusing one lately and I'm pretty sure she has a glowy one as well or like some kind of hydrating or illuminating, something like that in very similar packaging that I do want to try and I might pick it up next to Sephora sale. But I've really been enjoying this and I think between this, I imagine the other Rare Beauty one would look good and with all of the different NYX ones, I think I would be totally set with primer, not a big deal at all. I would miss my Glossier Future Dew and my Milk Makeup Hydro Grip, but unfortunately those brands just didn't make the cut this time. Milk Makeup, I'm looking at you for discontinuing your powder. Thank you very much. Next is my brows. That is what I go for next. And this is the main reason I picked NYX. There's a couple other reasons I picked NYX, but NYX just has my favorite brow products for such an affordable price. Cause it almost does feel like a cop out that I picked NYX, even though I said I wasn't doing ColourPop for just the reason of like, they have everything and everything's pretty good. I honestly haven't tried that many things from NYX in the grand scheme of things, but their brow products, are my favorite. My favorite brow pen of all time is the Lift and Snatch Brow Pen. I adore this. I use this almost every single time I do my makeup. It just fills in those little hairs so nice. I love the felt tip. I love the, I don't know, I just love it. It's a good one. And I've gone through so many favorite brow gels from them. They had my favorite clear brow gel for a while, my favorite fiber brow gel for a while. And now they have kind of the best of both worlds with this Thick It Stick It Thickening Brow Mascara. I love this. I literally don't even have a super glue level clear brow gel in my brows right now because this does it perfectly. I just fill in my gaps a little bit with any kind of pen or pencil. And then I just run this through my brows. It has little fibers to add some more color and fluffiness and it keeps them poking up like this 
forever. This is by far my favorite one. I've only recently just discovered this. It's only been a few weeks now, but I love this and I already know I can't live without it. So brows is like one of the main reasons I decided to keep NYX in the game. Rare Beauty also does have some brow products that I don't mind. I'd be happy using them, but when I was really deciding what to keep for this video, I didn't want to just settle for my brow products. I'm really happy with these products and I wanted to keep them. And again, there's a few other things I wanted to keep NYX around for anyway, so it worked out just to keep them for this video. All right, for foundation, again, NYX does have a plethora of foundations. I don't know if I've ever tried any, so I can't really speak on them. But lately, I've been very happy with the Rare Beauty, uh, what is this called? Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer. Really been happy with this. I think it's very hydrating. It's luminous, but it's not so dewy that it feels greasy or anything, but... Don't get me wrong, I love a luminous, dewy complexion. I feel like this is just very natural looking. It looks natural, kind of glowy, and it's very hydrating. It blends super nice on the skin, and even if I never tried one from NYX, I think I'd be really content with this one. I'm not someone that flip flops between different foundations and skin tints all the time. I do get tempted by new ones on occasion, but for the most part, as long as I have just like one or two staple ones, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with it. And honestly, a lot of the time, I don't even wear foundation. I'll go in with just concealer and be super happy that way as well. Which leads us to the next part of my routine is concealer. And again, NYX has concealers. I'm not personally familiar with them, so I can't speak on them. However, the Rare Beauty Concealer is one of my favorites of all time. It's so creamy and so good. This is actually my second bottle of it because I loved it so much. I think this is such a fantastic concealer. It is hydrating and it gives kind of like a natural glowy finish. It's not super matte or anything. And I just love the way it blends out onto the skin. This is by far like probably my current favorite concealer ever if I have to be honest with you. So yeah, I think I'd be, I'd be content if this was the only concealer I had or could use or could buy, you know, that kind of thing. Next, I guess we'll talk about some setting powders. I'm fairly certain NYX has a loose setting powder, but again, I'm not familiar, but I just felt like I had to mention it. Bottom line, NYX has everything, um, but I'm sure they have one in case I ever decided I hate this one. But the one that I'd be able to use and keep is the Rare Beauty one. I do like it. I've used it today. I've used it quite a few times. I think it's fine. It's very lightweight. They have multiple shades of it, so it's not just like translucent. They actually have colors to kind of fit your skin tone so you don't look ghostly if you're too deep and it doesn't look dark if you're too light or anything like that. Uh, I like it. Again, I don't know if it's my favorite of all time. The Milk Makeup Blur is still my favorite, but I've since run out months ago and it's been discontinued for some reason. Uh, so this is, this is kind of the current replacement and what fits in with this video because I'm keeping so many Rare Beauty things and I like the setting powder enough that I feel like I'd be fine with just kind of settling with this one. I don't use this all over my face anyways. It really just goes under my eyes and kind of around my mouth area where I talk and would get creasy. So, I mean, this does the job. It doesn't get crepey or too dry or matte or anything like that. And then the other thing I'm keeping next around for, which is kind of a gray area because I'm pretty sure this is getting discontinued slash has already been discontinued, but it's my NYX High Glass Setting Powder. I use this all around the perimeters of my face. It helps give me that glow when I set my face so that I still have that luminosity, but without feeling sticky, you know? I love this, and the main reason I'm keeping this in this video is because I still own this one and I think four backups. I'm not usually one to buy backups, but when I heard that this was getting discontinued, I just started buying like two at a time so that I could <laughs> have some set for a while. Like I'm probably good for at least another two years. Uh, I love this. And since I have so many, I'm pretending that it's still readily available and I'd be able to buy this. It's my favorite perimeter setting powder ever. I don't really put it under my eyes. I feel like the glowy under eye would be not my favorite thing personally, but for the rest of my face, this is glorious. I use this every single day. I've used it for years. This would be really hard to let go of and they better come up with a different version of this by the time I run out of my backups. Please and thank you. <laughs> Moving on now to bronzer. Again, I have to mention, I'm pretty sure NYX has bronzers, but I've never used them. <laughs> However, I do have a bronzer stick from Rare Beauty that I absolutely love. This one in particular is the shade Power Boost. I also really like Happy Soul. Both of those shades work really well on me. 
This is so creamy and delicious on the skin. It blends like a dream. I feel like sometimes with some cream products, I feel like they either blend really well or they stick in one spot and they're hard to move around. This one blends like a dream. It is so easy to use. I love the color of it. It's one of my favorite bronzers in my whole collection. And even though I'm not talking about a specific powder bronzer in this video, I think I would still be content with using this one as my forever bronzer slash venturing into the NYX ones and seeing what they have in the moment. But honestly, I love this one so much. I'd be, I'd be happy with it. And even though I've been on a bronzer kick this year, at the end of the day, I am pretty content with only having like one or two total. It's not the end of the world to not have a plethora of them. I don't know what happened this year. I'm gonna have to really self-reflect at the end of the year when I do my declutter series. Uh, but that one is for sure one of my favorites. I'm not positive. I don't think Melt has bronzers, right? I don't think they do, but if they did in this fantasy scenario, I would also be looking towards them to trying some out because I love their cheek products. Moving on now to blush. This is where we're gonna start incorporating multiple brands here. So keeping with Rare Beauty, I love these blushes so much. This is the Soft Pinch Liquid Blush and these are the Melting Blushes. The Melting Blushes in particular are one of my favorite cream formulas of all time. I just dip my little sponge in here and go to town on my face and it truly does melt into the skin. They are so just soft and diffused and glowy and wonderful. I adore this formula. And the Soft Pinch Liquid Blushes, they make a glowy version and a more matte version, even though I don't feel like it looks drying matte, it's just not super glowy. I do like the glowy ones more, but they're both amazing. Very, very pigmented. They also blend really easily, but I will say you have to work a little bit faster with them compared to the melting blushes, especially the matte version, because if you wait too long, it might stick in the same spot. So just kind of work one cheek at a time but these are wonderful as well. There's a beautiful range of shades between both of those and I'd be very content with those. Also though, from Melt, uh, the cream blush lights are one of my favorite formulas of all time. These are so good. This is what I'm wearing today. I feel like I can wear this before I've set my face with powder and after. I feel like it doesn't bunch up the powder underneath if I forget to do it first, because you know, sometimes that happens. But I love this and there are so many beautiful colors in the cream blushes. I also love these duo blushers from Melt. This two-sided, very glowy, highlighty formula. It is so good. I kind of want more shades in this, but I just don't need more blushes. I have so many, but this is amazing. I'm in love with it. I didn't grab it, but I also like using their highlight in the shade Genesis as a blush. That's one of my favorite blushes of all time as well. Odin's Eye also has some awesome blushes. I have the old school ones, which I'm pretty sure these got discontinued since the new ones came out. I could be mistaken though, but I still have the old school ones. There's a glowy formula and a matte formula, and I absolutely love these Alva blushers so much. But then these new ones, these Salmon blushes are so good. Again, there's a matte and a glowy formula. They're just so beautiful to work with. I'm not even mad that they are potentially discontinuing the old ones aside from Little Jasmine because that's one of my favorite blushes ever. But this new formula is so nice. I love the packaging. It's just it's all good things. And again, there are so many beautiful colors throughout those ranges. And they're also kind of a little different from the colors that I've talked about so far. I feel like I would be set on blush for a while. Again, NYX has blushes. I do have one. I think I left it in my drawer though. <laughs> I grabbed just like a plethora of things to chat about because I wasn't really trying to talk in detail about specific shades or anything, just overall what I'd be able to use. But NYX has plenty of blushes as well. I would be very, very content with those picks. Moving on now to highlighter. Rare Beauty has my absolute favorite liquid highlight of all time. This is so good. This would also mix really well with my foundation if I wanted to make the skin tint extra glowy. This is such a good formula. It actually looks pretty bright and blinding on the skin, but blends out super smooth. I feel like sometimes with liquid highlights, it either picks up and moves my foundation around or it just looks kind of too subtle for me. This is like the best of both worlds. I love it and I'd be happy to include it. Melt, again, I mentioned earlier, I like their highlights a lot. I'm wearing this one today actually. And again, the shade Genesis in their highlights makes a beautiful blush on my pale skin. It is so good. These are like a little bit more of a subtle powder, but it's still very pretty and pearly looking on the skin. I don't really know how to explain it better than that, but they, there's some good shades in this as well. And then for Odin's Eye, we have the OG Mesmerizer highlights. There's three shades of this and they're very sparkly, but not like 
super chunky glitter and they have really pretty colors and there's more of a golden one this pink one and there's a blue one i really like these odin's eye also has two highlight palettes that i forgot to bring the soul moon and the all of the two the all of the two highlight palette has my heart that shade salamander is so sparkly and good and they also just came out with those six new highlighters in their line as well and they're so pretty these are sparkly and they have like a duochrome shift they are so so good and even though i love having a lot of highlighters i think i'd have a pretty good variety with what i have from these brands and again i'm sure nyx has a plethora of highlighters i could try i just don't have any so i can't speak on them but again nyx has everything oh i skipped a step usually when i do my makeup i do blush then fake freckles then highlighter none of these brands technically have a specific fake freckle product i'm pretty sure nyx doesn't at least but NYX does have felt tip brow pen, so I could always just get like a dark blonde one or something to create my fake freckles with. I could use brown eyeshadows. It's not ideal, but I mean, I did that for the longest time before there were like better fake freckle products out there. So that's what I'd use. Again, I didn't do that today because I didn't have those. So that will be the differing brand in the description box than <laughs> what I've talked about, but that is what I would use in this fantasy scenario. And then moving on to setting spray, again, NYX definitely has some. I'm pretty sure I've used one in the past. I couldn't tell you which one it was, but I've been very happy with the Rare Beauty one. If you can't tell, look how low it is. I've been using this like crazy. It's a very good one. Again, I still think my Milk Makeup Hydro Grip is my favorite. However, in this case, I didn't keep Milk, I kept rare and that's the one that I'd be using and I'd be fine with that. Moving on next to eyes, I technically don't own an eyeshadow primer from any of these brands, but I'm willing to bet that NYX has one. So that's what I would use in this scenario. And if not, I would just have to kick it old school and use concealer, even though that's not my favorite thing to do. That's what I would do if NYX doesn't have one, but I'm fairly certain they have one. And I'd also kept NYX for the reason of their glitter primer. You know <laughs> how much I love this. I absolutely adore this. I just bought another one recently because this one's getting kind of low. Uh, I've been using this for years. I use it before every single shimmer ever. It helps them pop more and stick and look amazing. I love this. So this is just another reason I kept NYX. NYX just has some staple products that I use literally every day. So it was really hard for me to not include them. Even though I don't use a wide variety of their things, the things that I do use, I literally use every single time I do my makeup. Moving on now to eyeshadows though. I have a good variety with the brands that I picked. Uh, let me start with Blend Bunny because that's kind of the foundation I built my eyeshadow picks on. Obviously, Blend Bunny only has four palettes now, but they are four large palettes, very matte heavy, and they offer such a good range. We have the original blends palette. It is just all matte, rainbow colors, different undertones, different levels of depth. I would have literally all the colors of the rainbow here. And then if I think I didn't, they came out with the primal recently, which was basically supposed to fill in the gaps for the blends palette. The primal is right here. The primal offers slightly differing undertones that the blends doesn't have. It has an extra large black and white in case I needed it, which I don't use matte black and white too often, but it would be there for me. The primal also has the row of shimmers that the blends doesn't. And literally between these two, I have all the matte colors of the rainbow that I would need. But if I wanted to kick it up another notch, we have my favorite palette of all time right now it's the surge this has such a good range of like moody pastels we have the mids and these super super deep deep colorful shades we have the row of neons and again just another row of interesting shimmers to play with i love this palette i would have so many options between these and then if i wanted to kick it a little more neutral we have the dollhouse which is probably my current favorite neutral palette it's like neutrals with a twist. There's still some like fun muted grungy colors in here. We have more shimmers, but this is like great neutrals for me. I love the cool tones in here. Blend Bunny has a really good setup and I think I would definitely regret it if I didn't include them. It's one of my favorite matte formulas and you just can't deny the variety you get with those four palettes. And I don't see her stopping making palettes anytime soon. So I would have more things to look forward to as well. But then to expand on it, Melt, of course. I love Melt shadows. I love their palettes. I just grabbed three palettes just for the purpose of this video. I didn't feel like showing everything, but I did actually do a ranking my Melt Cosmetics palettes recently. So I ranked all nine that I own. If you are curious which ones are my favorite to least favorite. We have the She's in Parties. This is such a good berry tone palette. It's beautiful. 
available the melt muerte which is getting restocked i'm pretty sure the restock will have already happened by the time this video goes up so hopefully it's still around snag it while you can um one of my favorite palettes of all time as well and then of course my my beloved gemini palette the ultimate like grungy dream it's so nice and Melt just has such a good variety of palettes for me to use. We have the smoky tones from the Mary Jane. We have the fall tones from the 420. There's just so many good things with Melt. So between them having some really good cheek products, lip products, and then these eyeshadows, I had to include them again like I did the first time I did this video. And then I figured Odin's Eye would also be another fun one to include because I love their color stories. I love the variety. They have so many palettes, so I wouldn't have a shortage of eyeshadow at all. And they also have really pretty special shimmers that I might not get in the other two palettes. Because as much as I do love Melt and Blend Bunny, their shimmers aren't necessarily my favorite of all time. They're fine. They're beautiful. But Odin's Eye has those special shifty sparkly shadows that I crave and love like I'm wearing today. I just grabbed a few just for example purposes. We have the Urn beautiful greens with those delicious shimmers. We have the Cat's Breath, kind of this cute orangey turquoise vibe with these, again, just amazing shifty shimmers. I grabbed Angie's palette, the Hella palette. Again, there's such a fun range and the shimmers in here are glorious. And I grabbed Annette's as well, the Giant Wolves. I'm pretty sure this is my favorite one Odin's Eye has done actually. It's just a grungy masterpiece with again, just amazing shimmers and just the amount of variety I get with Odin's Eye shadows, the quality is amazing, the color stories are fun, and those shimmers are just superb. I felt like between those three brands, I'd be pretty set. Again, NYX has eyeshadows. I am not familiar with them. And Rare Beauty has eyeshadows too. I've used them in the past. They're not horrible, but they're not really my cup of tea. They're not my thing specifically. But between Melt, Blend Bunny, and Odin's Eye, I'd be set. For liquid liners, the NYX Epic Ink Liner has been one of my favorites for the longest time, and I also quite enjoy the Rare Beauty liquid liner as well. Um, not really much to say here. They have a really nice tip for me to get precision. They're very black. They don't transfer on me, so these are the two liners I'd be able to keep kicking around, and I'd be happy with it because they're already some of my favorites. And as far as pencil liners go, Odin's Eye has a bunch of pencils, and so does NYX. Mel also has pencils. Let me find it. Yes, I have one right here. It's called Baked. It's like a mustard yellow. Um, but between those three, specifically between NYX and Odin's Eye, I would have plenty. I really like the NYX Epic Wear pencils. They're their newest pencils, I'm pretty sure. And they're very creamy. I like the metallic finish. I'm wearing one of them in my waterline today. I always have a pencil in my waterline. So I'd be pretty content. I do currently have a lot of ColourPop pencils, so I'm sure I would have some gaps. But NYX and Odin's Eye together do offer a lot. And again, Melt has some too. I just don't have a ton of them. I have literally one. As far as mascara goes, Rare Beauty has one that I don't mind. And I'm sure NYX has a zillion that I could try. I don't have any on hand right this second. But mascara, I'm not too pressed about. I wear lashes pretty much every single time I do my makeup. It's a rare day when I don't. As long as it's super black and doesn't transfer like up here, <laughs> I, I would be fine. As far as lashes though, this is another reason I kept Blend Bunny. These are a pair right now, the Saint Lashes. I don't have a fresh pair to hold up and show you because I've destroyed my other pairs. Uh, this is my last standing pair and I just absolutely love them. They're dramatic and amazing and I would be heartbroken to not have them in my life. And then if I desperately wanted something a little more subtle, I know NYX does have lashes. Again, can't really speak to the quality of them or anything, but I know they exist, so I would at least have some options there. But the main pick for lashes would be Blend Bunny. I love them. She has like eight different pairs, I think, so I'd have a pretty good variety to choose from, and they last a long time. I've been very impressed with them. I think that's it for eyes. I'm not really missing anything, I think. So I guess let's just move on to lips. We're just gonna go by brand. Uh, Rare Beauty came out with these lip pencils, currently my favorite lip pencils in my whole collection. I love these, there's 10 different shades and there's also 10 matching lipsticks, which is also such an amazing formula. I keep reaching for these. I almost wore one today, but I decided to do something a little, you know, 
more dramatic, uh, but these are amazing. Rare Beauty also has these like tinted lip balms. They're really, really good. They're very glowy and lightweight on the lips, very comfortable. There's also these like glossy lip balms. They're super cute. Again, very comfortable. They just give you that light wash of color and there's some cute shades with this as well. And then there's the Lip Souffles. This is their uh, liquid lipstick and they're kind of like a moussey texture. They're very comfortable. It's not my go-to lip product if I'm being honest, but it's not a bad one. I do like this shade in particular particular and it's just another option there. I have a lot of different types of lipsticks to choose from with Rare Beauty. And then from Melt, I have one regular lipstick, but they have a lot of regular lipsticks. And I really like the formula. It's very, very comfortable. And then their liquid lipsticks. It's one I'm wearing right now. This is the shade Poser. One of my favorite liquid lipstick formulas of all time. They have very funky and unique shades, but they also have your basic neutrals, you know. So I'd be very content with that. I already have so many liquid lipsticks, so I'd be fine with collecting more if it was one of my only options. And then from Odin's Eye, we have regular lipsticks, lots of lipsticks. I think they came out with like six of them, maybe eight, maybe 10. I don't remember. <laughs> and then we also have lip stains. We have the glossy lip stains and the matte lip stains. So just depending on kind of the effect I was going for, I have some options here as well. I'm pretty sure there's six of each. Blend Bunny doesn't have lip products at the moment. And I know NYX has tons. I've used their butter glosses back in the day. I used to love their soft matte lip creams. I know I have one gloss floating around here somewhere. Yeah, I got this as a free gift during an Ulta order this juicy gloss. So I would have plenty to try out with NYX as well. And that's kind of where I'm going to leave it. Obviously I didn't go into tools or anything like that. I wasn't really talking about like lash glues or brushes. That would be a whole other story, but Blend Bunny has brushes. NYX has brushes. Rare Beauty has brushes. I'm pretty sure Melt has brushes. Odin's Eye has some brushes as well. I'd be able to get by. Would there be gaps? Totally but I'd be able to get by. And as far as lash glue, I'm sure NYX has one, even though the House of Lashes is my forever favorite, I I'd be set. Now, if I'm forgetting a makeup item, I apologize. It's a lot to pretend about, but I'm pretty sure I'm set. Would it be sad to no longer use any other brands? Absolutely, but I would have a fairly solid collection of products between these brands. And I feel like I'd be pretty happy with my makeup on the daily. I would love to hear your thoughts though. What do you think about my picks? Did anything surprise you? I'm sure some things surprise you like not keeping Shroud with my collab, but at the end of the day, Shroud only has palettes and I tried to pick brands that I could at least get some variety with. Like Blend Buddy, I have so many shades and I have the lashes that I adore and they have amazing brushes too. I would love to hear your thoughts on these brands. Have you tried any of them? Do you wanna try anything? What are your favorite products from them? I would also love to know which five brands you would use if you could only use five. If you made it to the end of this video, ooh, what emoji do I want you to leave down below? I know what I want you to do. You can only use five emojis from now on. Leave those five below for me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. And if you're not already, you can follow me on my other socials. You can join the Batty Bean fam. I am Batty Bean on everything, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. And if you want, you can subscribe if you wanna see more of my videos. I'm posting most days over here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, bye. Now comes time for me to be paranoid that I always have dark purple lipstick on my teeth. We're safe for now. I had and could use, so. I wouldn't really use this. What is wrong with me? I put this stack of palettes too close to my elbow. They're, they're just flying. <laughs> Gotta do a lipstick check again. <laughs>